Buffy was a little bit um, shocked this morning, and so was I because I forgot that I had had this guy in here. And Buffy jumped up into his lap. It was the cutest thing in the world. Anyway, I got to get him moved. We got some places we got to be. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Good New Year. It is a beautiful, look at the windows open. I mean, it's not warm outside, but it is a beautiful day outside with the sun hitting you. It feels really good. Huh, Bobby? Got a little bit of work to do today, and then hopefully at the end of the day I can, uh, take off. I, I'd love to make it to the park today and try Buffy's new harness, the camera harness for the GoPro. Not sure we're going to get there today though, but it's my goal. You know there's that pivotal moment when you're sick that it starts to creep further down your bronchial tubes and when you cough, your coughs become less productive. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. That's what I feel like is going on right now. So I'm not sure if I'm getting any better, but I've also been working out in this in this <coughs> cold. So gotta make it to the auto parts store. Gotta get a job done. At least the new year is starting out to be fast paced. Always look at the bright side. Try to always look at the bright side. Because there always is one somewhere. Like getting into a nice warm truck with your loving dog, the one that loves you unconditionally no matter what even if she pees on the carpet and eats your camera. Huh, that's right, okay. So, I've been extremely selfish and, and like self-absorbed recently, so I apologize for that. It looks like I've got boobies. I've gained so much weight. Okay, sorry, squirrels, booby squirrels. Um, so, I want to ask you guys, what are your guys' New Year's resolutions? I haven't asked you and nobody's really offered so what are you guys going to do now although although if it is important enough to make a resolution about it's important enough to have started like when you thought of it right what are your guys new year's resolutions post it down in the comments below i will do coc tonight and i will comment on the comments that you guys leave tonight tomorrow i'm not going to promise but i like 50 percent promise no, I'm, I feel a little stronger about it. Let's 70% promise. Does that work? Can you 70% promise? Or is that just like an I'll try situation? I don't know. Anyway, I gotta get parts. Sun's going down, burning daylight. We are headed into darkness and we are headed across the lake. The bridge right here across the lake. Um, always really pretty, especially this time of night. And I've been seeing like, you know, Christmas lights and I'm like, huh, I wonder how many people like you guys um, still have your lights up. How many of you guys are taking your lights down? Because customary for me, they like usually always go up the weekend of Thanksgiving and they come down the weekend. They stay lit until New Year's morning. And then once they go out on New Year's day, then uh, they stay out and get taken down New Year's weekend. Customarily, typically. However, I was going to take my Christmas tree down this weekend, but uh, Phoenix has not had Christmas with his grandparents. So he is having like, let's see, um, I imagine he had a Christmas with his mom. So one, and he had a Christmas with me, two, and then Christmas with his grandparents at my house, three. So he's gonna have three Christmases. What a lucky little guy. Oh, see, look at that. See how pretty and serene that is? That's just like, it's so calm. Look at that. <laughs> Buffy's looking out the window like, wow, look at that. I wanna go out there and go swimming. Do like some kind of polar swimming thing. <laughs> oh, and up here on the left, I'll show you here, is Santa's runway. This is cool, he does this just about every year. I gotta speed up because there's a car behind me, but that's just kinda cool. Well, Santa's runway, right over there. Wow, I haven't seen Big Bang Theory in a long time. Ouch! Your nails are very sharp. They are. So I am going to sit down and I'm going to watch some TV. I wanna, actually, I want to try and catch up on a little bit of sleep. I want to take a little nap. And I just realized I didn't have my hat on, so yeah, messy hair. See? Told you. It's going bye-bye. Bye-bye, hair. All right, guys. Yeah, I really need to catch up on sleep that I missed last night because... 
I'm feeling it. I'm not 100%, and I need to be 100% when I'm out there because if, that's really loud. I'm sorry. Let me take my nap, and then I'll talk to you guys. Is that okay with you? All right, so I want to check in the mirror to make sure that I wasn't too offensive. Um, I just got up from a nap, guys. A nap! Because I'm not, I'm not 100% yet. I mean, I'm, I'm beyond the contagious stage, but I'm just, I'm still not 100% yet. Gosh dang it. You really do hurt me. These paws, look at those paws. Look at those paws. Why? Why? Do you guys have a suggestion for, um, because I got clippers for, but the clippers, they, they take the, the end of the nail off, but then it's all sharp and you have to file it. And using a hand file, uh, that takes such a long time. Um, do you guys have any suggestions for doggy nail files? Um, like, a, 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 I want to say like a Dremel, but maybe I just don't have the right bit. I don't know. Anyway, look at this. I just let her outside a little while ago so that she wouldn't pee in the house again. And look at that. It is just, well, you can't really tell. Let's open the door, go through the window. You want to go out? Okay, you can run out there again. Look at all the ice crystals. That's ice. All that white is ice. Everything outside is ice. Look at that. You want to come back inside? It's cold out there, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Goofy. <sighs> See? Look at that. I just helped warm up the outside to show you guys what the outside looked like. So I also have the water, like, running just a little bit. Just to make sure that the pipes don't freeze. Freezing pipes are bad, although my pipes are, <laughs> my pipes are laid in concrete, baby. Yeah, because the house is on a slab, so I can't cover my pipes because they're all already covered with concrete. Ladies and ghouls, it is time for COC. I have donned my hat so you will not be distracted by my messy hair. Yes, and we're going to be going back to vlog day 1883, back to the 27th. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I did not know that we were that far behind. Starting out with the first comment. Sorry, I'm eating. I'm eating vegetables. Yeah. I don't just eat burgers and pizza and stuff like that. I do eat good stuff. <laughs> it's just not as interesting to vlog. First comment of the night goes to Capzone2. Yay! Timothy Jones. Hey, Troy. Sorry you're sick, bro. Hope you get well quick, but you should really try my remedy. Take one hot shower. Take a shot of brandy and get under a lot of really warm blankets. Sleep and sweat it out. Everything's good about that except the brandy. Because what actually happens is um, alcohol is poison and your body's already trying to kick something out. So when you introduce alcohol into the body, that's like bad. It's very, very bad to drink if you're sick. However, they do give a little bit of credibility to a single glass of wine per day, red wine per day, due to the uh, amount of antioxidants. Yes, the more you know. And again, I'd like to thank everybody for the, the getting well wishes. I appreciate them. John John 9111 nice school bus. Wasn't that a green one underneath the bus? There is the school bus, and then underneath it was one of our metro buses, our city buses. Um, but it was, uh, oh, who was it? It was uh, Robert, the gentleman from uh, Pierce County Asylum that posted on one of the pictures that I had posted of the buses. When a bus is thrown under a bus, you know, because everybody like, oh, dude, you threw me under a bus. Well, that's what happens when a bus is thrown under a bus. Okay, it sounded a lot better in my head. I probably ruined it. Adam S., you can get lost with a GPS. I, I actually need to go and get a dedicated GPS because one of my phone, sometimes it will like lose signal and typically it will lose signal like within about two miles when I really need it to find out where I'm going. And that's really aggravating because then I have to study the map and then follow the map myself and it, it's, it's not good for driving. Adam Owens, why was the window cracked open in the Bronco? Are you talking about the driver's window? Because when you heat the inside of the vehicle up, number one, it's gonna heat up quicker if you have air gaps, because instead of the blower motor trying to push um, air into a space that it that's already occupied by air, it needs to have some displacement. And number two, there's a moisture problem in my truck too, so by cracking the window, it helps to uh, get the, um, and get the moisture out of the vehicle. So no, I do not smoke and actually uh, anymore. I, I still haven't. I have not picked up a cigarette. Even with all the stress and all this crap in my life, um, I am still three years smoke free um, as of Phoenix's birthday. Three years, so I'm very proud for that. Although with my voice right now, you never tell. It's like, oh my gosh, dude, you must pack. <laughs> you must pack like six smokes a day. No, you might like, you must like smoke six packs a day. No, no I don't. It's just I'm sick. 
1884, Pepper's Ghost, uh, the 28th. And first comment of the day, Matthew Rondell, congratulations. Joseph Blau, are you sure you aren't coughing from breathing in Buffy's hair overnight? Yeah, thanks. Me with my hair phobia. Well, what's the actual technical term to hair phobia? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, here's another thing, guys. For everybody that's watching right now, let's do this. Go down in the comments, and you can comment on the vlog, like, multiple times if you want to, but I want at least one single comment. The only thing I want in the comment is your favorite number. You can spell it out, or you can just put the number, but I want to see everybody's favorite number in the comments below if you're watching this right now. I want to see how many people catch on. Don't say anything about it. Just post a single comment with your favorite number. Do it now, and while you're doing that, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button too, because that makes me feel good, especially when I'm sick. And also, uh, Joe, you are the reason why I set that camera up the other day, is because I saw your comment. I'm like, you know something? That's a good idea. Adam Owens, I like how your GPS said, use the left two lanes, like she wanted you to drive in both of them at the same time. Yeah, my, uh, uh geez, my GPS is, it's whacked, pretty much. Um, it, it's so funny, because, like, some of the directions in there is like, Use the right two lanes to keep left. I'm like, what? Use the right two to keep left? I, I don't know. It, it confuses me. I need a real GPS. Oh, and I want to say Matthew Rondell. Dude, that is so cool. He made up a little, like, chart and stuff for the comment. Like, he's doing this whole comment war thing. The first comments and stuff like that. And I was very, very impressed, Matthew. That was really cool. So thank you for doing that. And Branson Haunted Hills, Mary, I am happy to hear that you're feeling somewhat better. <laughs> oh, man. This is hard. It's hard vlogging when you're sick and trying to keep it entertaining. Most colds last for 14 days unless you go and pay money and see the doctor. Then they only last for two weeks. But um, this just sucks because there's like at least another week of this crud and, and I don't want it to become too boring for you guys. I don't want you guys to leave me. Vlog day, 1886, 12.30, First comment of the night, Matthew Rondell. Jenna Jackson, the poor dog doesn't know where to sleep, can't get comfy. I know, she was up all night too, and I think it's probably because I move so much and she doesn't like it when the covers move underneath her. She gets, she she's, jumps up and goes, and then she gets down off the bed. Branson Haunted Hills, I've heard that sleeping with your knees up is a sign of back injury. You know, that's quite possible because my back hurts every single day. The lower left of my back, like, it, 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 it's shooting sharp pains constantly all day long, and I just deal with it. It sucks. Wondering Sharon, did Phoenix like his gift from me, the playing cards? Uh, we didn't open it, but he was interested in all the characters and everything. So thank you for that. Thank all of you guys for the New Year's uh, well wishes. I sincerely appreciate them. I'm going to try and do COC for this last night too. I don't know. Now this vlog is getting kind of long and I still need to go to bed. And blah, blah, blah. Wah, 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 wah. Excuse, excuse, BS, BS. And let's uh, do COC for day 1887. The last day of 2015. First commenter of the night, UK Haunt. Congratulations. Philip M. Paranormal Activity 6, the Hellmouth Haunt for last night's video. That's funny. I actually wanted to get up during the middle of the night and run over to the camera real quick and just be like... But I would have had to stay there for like... Well, it, it took a picture every 10 seconds, so I would have had to have stayed there for like at least at least three frames so at least i i should have stayed there for like two minutes and just stared at you guys that would have been so freaking awesome apocalypse 38 troy one of those trees could have ended up being used for the in the haunt as two by fours um you know something it amazes me that they just cut everything up now i'm sure that they go and they they make firewood out of it to get more money but those are good trees i don't see why they don't take trees and turn them into the to the yards or whatever for to make wood and stuff out of I said make wood. Baldy Jack, I thumbs up your comment only to let you know that I have seen your comment, but I would love the thumbs down for the kidney problems because that's that sucks. I did not know. All right, and that's it. Thank all of you and hope all of you are having a wonderful uh, 2016. We will see you guys tomorrow. Happy haunting. Yeah, bye. Good night. Uh.